Hello there today YouTube, um, this is my Xbox uh, 360, uh, of course, and, and in this video I'm going to give you some guidelines how to keep it uh, as cool as possible uh, to prevent your console from getting the red ring of death. So first off, keep it ventilated, have plenty of airflow and space to allow airflow. Now maybe it's too narrow here, but it never gets any, it never gets hot here, it's always cool. Uh, but in the back, the hot air gets out, and this is where the cold air gets sucked in. So, be sure to have a lot of space to allow airflow uh, in the back. Uh, see, there's my Xbox, and it's all the way over here. Also, the power brick can be the source of the RROD, and uh, the underside, which is facing upwards now, is the side that gets hot, of course. So, keep it upside down and also staple it up on something. I have it on three VHS tapes on each side or you can have it on a box or something to allow airflow and keep that ventilated as well. Um, also keep it off from all carpets and stuff because that really sucks up lint and dust into your Xbox and that is not good and that will make it uh, your Xbox will overheat. And uh, now I don't maybe ha I maybe don't have the best setup here, but my mom got pissed off when I had it on a box over there, so she forced me putting it here. So just keep it ventilated. Also keep it horizontal. I played with it vertical in the beginning, uh, but I uh, know it sounded kind of strange. It got hot. It just didn't feel right to put the discs in vertical and all stuff. So I put it down horizontal, and it's ha it has improved. I've had no problems whatsoever, and I've had it a year now, um, except for three game freezing <coughs> tragedies, of course, with my NHL away, which froze, and also my friends, Grand Theft Auto 4 also froze, but both game froze after several hours of gameplay. Uh, so don't play for too long, because uh, then it will also become hot and warm. So play for something, I don't know, about two, three hours and then take a break. I also have a PS2 up here. Um, uh, and uh, we had it at my friend's house in the open, so not this narrow and tight as it is here. And we played a lot of Spider-Man 3 on it. Yeah, don't laugh at me, I know it sucks. Um, and after a couple of hours it froze as well, so it doesn't really depend on the console. It depends more on the playtime. Um, then I have the Falcon chip, and I'm wondering if that maybe is why it's working so great. So, yeah. Yeah, also, if you keep it horizontal, you won't risk to have any loose parts or something, because everything is put down the way it should be. Um, also, clean your Xbox once a week or something, because these ventilation shafts can't be, must not be dusty or anything. Keep it clean. So clean it and clean the space where it, where it lies. Uh, also, you can try to free up the underside of the whole console, but I don't. I don't do that. I've never had any problems with it. Uh, also, if you want to, you can have a fan here, which blows in cold air as well. Uh, those intercoolers, they don't work that great. I've heard, so don't buy one. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And we're also, when you keep it horizontal, the fans aren't working as hard in the back. So it's just quieter and cooler. So uh, I hope this helped you. Now I'm going to play some Grand Theft Auto 4 again. Thank you for watching.